Hi. So uh, I've been into electronics for a while now. And when I first started out, I would build circuits on a breadboard like this. This is a, a transmitter for an RC car. I made a, a video about this a while ago. And uh, these are great for tinkering, but the circuits that you build on them are not very permanent. Um, so, uh, which is why I eventually moved to working on uh, soldered perf boards. And these are cheap, and these are an effective solution for making permanent circuits. Uh, perf boards end up getting really messy and tedious for more complicated circuits. Uh, you might recognize this as my electronic speed controller for a motor that I was working on a while ago. And uh, just look how disgusting Holy it is geez. on the back. And to be honest, that's why I haven't finished that motor because it took me several hours uh, to make, this is the motor. It took me several hours to make this um, and it, it didn't work. And honestly, I just, I, I can't be bothered to, to remake this. It, it just too much effort. So since I have a mill now and uh, an understanding of how to use it, uh, I thought maybe I could use it to, to mill circuit boards. Now, the first step is to build a schematic uh, of the circuit that you want. I'm just going to use this blinking circuit, uh, which was one of the first circuits I ever built. Next, you want to generate a PCB from your schematic uh, and lay out all the traces. Easy EDA is the program I use to build the schematic and the PCB. Now we want to export the PCB as a packet of Gerber files and use them to generate toolpaths for the mill. Uh, we'll need to generate two operations. One for cutting the traces and one for drilling the holes. Uh, flat cam is what I use to do this. Once we have our G code for the software that controls the, our mill, uh, we'll need to attach our workpiece and zero the mill. Before we can start, uh, it's, it's good to generate a height map for the mill so that it can adjust to the imperfections in the board. Uh, when the height map is done, we can finally start etching the traces. After the operation finishes, we switch out the etching tool for a drill and drill out the holes. And our board is done! Now all we have to do is solder in our components and Baba Bowie. we have a working flashing circuit. Now that I know how to etch circuit boards on my PCB, uh, I'll be able to avoid nonsense like this in the future. Uh, it'll make me, it'll allow me to easily make more complicated projects um, and hopefully turn them out faster. So have a good day.